Hello everyone, today we're going to do a tree drawing and I would just like to encourage you that you come up with your own shape for your tree and that you come up with your own background. You don't need to do a night background, you can do a day background with a lovely sunrise or sunset. Uh, this is just an example. Please, please, please create your own unique drawing and have fun. Start with a rough outline of your tree. Don't stress too much. You're just trying to plot out your branches. I'm using my ink tool, which is highlighted in red on the side panel, and I'm alternating with my eraser as I'm adjusting my shape and form. Now I'm adding my wood-like texture. I'm still using my ink tool. I'm basically doing scratches all over my tree and please notice the direction in which I'm doing these scratches as they are very important. I'm not stressing too much about getting it perfect because I will be using my blending tool later on to get those lines nice and smooth. I'm adding a few extra branches I'm trying to get my shape right so it looks natural and I'm adding some detail. On the side panel, I'm constantly, on the right side, I'm constantly changing the size of my, my, my ink tool and the opacity as well. So please feel free to play around with the toggles there. If you would like to change the shade of your color or the color itself, hold in on the color and then you'll see a color swatch pop out. Drawing really is about layering so go ahead and add some extra layers on your tree. By the way if you do have a stylus this app works really nice with a stylus pen. Right, so you can see I'm going for my third layer now. I'm also adding a bit of contrast to my drawing, which means darker sections. You don't need to outline your whole tree in the same darkness. It actually looks quite beautiful if some parts are a bit lighter and others are a bit darker. Just like in real life, if you should see a tree um, light will fall onto the tree and certain parts will be darker and certain parts will be lighter. Notice how my lines are angular and not completely rounded so that those branches look more realistic. On the left hand side you will see that the smudge tool is highlighted in red. I'm going to use this tool now to blend in my tree a little bit. I'm also going to blend the tips of the branches so that it extends a bit into the background. Now I'm going to create my background. Before I start, I'm going to create new layers on top of my tree. You do that at the right top corner um, and then create new layers there. Why? Because if I don't like my background, I can easily delete it without losing my tree. Um, I feel like making a night sky and I'd like to add a moon but this is completely up to you create something unique when you are done please submit your work to Google classroom it will be called sketches app tree drawing and I'd love to see your work so that I can send you a comment thank you for watching